Well, we're out here on this tiny little island. My boat motor actually just went out. There's absolutely no cell signal. So we're kind of stranded out here. But I'm just kidding. Something even better than me being stranded out here though is there have been some big fish. So what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be looking for some big speckled trout. We're gonna try them shallow first and if the water's too cool for them to come up shallow, we're gonna head to a little bit deeper. All right, gloves are coming off. <laughs> it's, it's hard to fish with them, man. Woo! And then I take them off and then my, my hands are cold. You can't win. <laughs> you know, it's beyond me how people... Jesus, I'm one of the worst to ever do it. All right, here we are. A little drift. We're hitting a, a little reef right here. Just, it's pretty shallow, probably ah, not too shallow, like two to four feet, but it is shallow considering we did have some really cold weather recently. So we'll see if they're up here. If not, we're gonna have to look a little bit deeper. Oh, there's a mullet. Interesting. One little mullet is just giving me worlds of hope. I'm not even lying to you right now. There's a fish. Wow. I saw a mullet jump. This is a decent fish too, dude. This is a really decent fish. I'm pretty sure this is like a red. I saw a mullet jump. I thought we're, we're gonna be fishing a little bit deeper, but I saw a mullet jump and cast it to it. It's a freaking nice trout. Holy cow, that's a nice trout. Oh my god, that's a, that's a freaking nice one, dude. Holy. <gasps> that's a monster, dude. That's a monster trout. That's a freaking nice trout. Holy cow, dude, that's a freaking nice trout. No way, dude. Shit, that's pretty close. That is a freaking nice trout. Oh, he's freaking wrapped in it too. He's out, he's out. Oh, that's a nice one, dude. That is a freaking nice fish. You see how he's hooked? You're good, you're good. Coop, what the hell are you doing, bud? There we go. Holy dude. That's a nice freaking trout. Holy f Holy cow. I didn't think it was possible for me to catch a nice one. Five and a half pounder, pretty. Oh, I almost lost my rod too. Let's go. Man, freaking thick one, huh? Let's see. About, that's about 25 maybe. Damn, nice dude. Biggest one of the year? Biggest one of the year, I'm pretty sure. Jeez. Yeah! No way, dude. I caught a freaking decent fish. Is it, is it possible? All right, man. Thank you for the big bite. Chomper, all right. Don't wanna give you. Woo, sick, dude. All right, let's try a different spot. We're gonna just, woo. Let's just hop out for a little wade here. Never fish this spot, but it looks a little bit interesting. Was it? Cool. Is that a bad omen, dude? <laughs> well, another spot, another no fish, but man, I'm having, I'm actually having fun just checking out these new spots. But now we continue to explore. We actually, right now, we might go take a look for some redfish. There's a big trout right there. Oh, there he is. There he is. It's a stick. This cancel culture shit is getting a little out to end. Knowing up the songs and lyrics you don't understand. Where everybody could give a fuck what I'm offended by. When I was your age, all we cared about was getting annoyed. Yeah. Out the tables have turned. 
that we sound like everybody that we used to despise. Oh man, I was gonna fish this spot right here, but it looks like the hogs already got it. The javelinas. I guess, shoot, we're on to the next spot then. Freaking hog, freaking hogs took my spot. Well, man, the weather's been flipping today. The wind kicked up quite a lot, man. So we're get, we're kind of relegated to fishing the pop of cork on a drift, but we'll see what we can do with it. We might be able to do something. We got the voodoo at the bottom of the cork. <laughs> there he is. There he is. There he is. It's a freaking dink, dude. <laughs> He's in the color change though. Oh my gosh. What is it? Is it, is it what is it? It's a red. Well, I told you we're going after some reds, boys. That's what I'm talking about. Look at it. He's got a bunch of spots on him. You think there's like a million rat reds making this color change? This is my boy Ryan's lure. Always dogging him for using the voodoo shrimps, but this one actually kind of looks insane. Kind of might be throwing it a lot more. It looks pretty sweet in the water, dude. This black tail and the black head up here, it looks pretty, it, it sticks out so much in the water. Even a little bit dingier water like we have right here. But it also has this clear body that, I mean, it just looks like a shrimp in the water. It looks pretty sweet. You know what? I might actually put on my life jacket for this one. Oh yeah, let's go. Oh, I almost lost. I don't think that's supposed to be like that. We just popped in. Oh my gosh. Boys, we just, that might be. We popped in for one more spot and all of a sudden there's a big old fish in front of me. The only thing is, it might be a black drum. Dude, I swear, I thought it was like a log in the water. Damn. Might be a black drum. But you know what? We do have the voodoo we can throw. This is crazy. This is crazy. I think it is a black drum. Unless, wait, he's falling it. There he is! What is it? What is it? What is it, dude? Is it a drum? Or is it? I think it's a drum. I think it's, it's a drum. No way. He hit the wedger. The wedger can do it all, boys. The wedger can do it all. That's crazy, bro. Check this out, dude. Oh, man, this is awesome. This, this just made my day, dude. This just made this a sick day. Actual. God dang, that was so cool. I was like, I'm gonna check this little spot real quick. I highly doubt this is gonna be anything. It's super shallow. And I'm just walking up to it. And there's something big in front of me. I, I think it's like a log. I just think it's logs in there. And then I, I put my hand out and stayed still to see if it was moving. And slowly it passes up my hand. And it turns out to be this guy right here on the wedger. This is sick. I love it, dude. Wow, what a day. Three fish today and I'm freaking hyped about it. I'm freaking hyped about it. Three different species too. Look at that. Oh, this man! Bang! You telling me the wedger can't do it all? Are you really trying to tell me the wedger can't do it all? Bang! Look at that guy! Look at that guy in the egret wedge shell. Weedless. <laughs> Black drum are so weird, man. Sometimes they will not go after anything you throw that's artificial. And then sometimes they will. Like this guy. I'm actually hoping there's some more fish in here because this was a heck of a lot of fun to catch. Don't don't scare the rest of them up. Cool fish, dude. Cool, cool fish. Wow, that's so cool to be able to see it. Well, it's not too often you only catch three fish and you consider it not a bad day, but man, I had a lot of fun. So obviously this kind of ends the, my big trout hunt for this winter, you know, Every winter when it comes around, there's so many so many types of fishing you can do work during winter, but I always somehow end up just going for a big trout, just trying to learn about some catching some trout. The first thing I learned and kind of reinforced is that location can actually obviously matter a lot. And you know, you know, some people try and sell that, you know, location doesn't matter at all, or that's kind of how they portray it, but it definitely does. That being said, a lot of great fishermen can catch 
pretty amazing fish just even in areas you would think are not that good at all. So now especially after the freeze, some areas that weren't even too good to begin with, they even slowed down a little bit more and some, some areas seem like they're still going full throttle. Another thing I learned is that even after a very, or a, quite a cold night and even into the 30s, uh, fish will still come up shallow the next morning even, even when that water is pretty cooled down. Now they're not gonna come down onto you know, a one foot grass flat because there's just, there's nothing for them there. But if there is somewhere they can catch some bait, even if it's a little bit shallower, um, the cold water is really not going to bother them too much. Not, definitely not as much as I thought it did before. So obviously now we are into spring and the great thing about spring, especially with trout, those trout are still really fat. They're fat and the weather's warming up. So you can use different strategies, not get so cold and you can still have to go after some big trout. But I, I really like fishing the jetties whenever I can during spring. So. I might do some trout fishing, but I'm also going to be fishing the jetties. I love you guys very much. Talk to you guys next time. <laughs>